NASA has been busy exploring the red planet for a while now, and it's definitely not a cheap hobby. In fact, NASA's missions to Mars are some of the most expensive outer space expeditions of human history. The Mars Exploration Rover mission alone cost $1.08 billion. One expects that NASA must have got real value for the money, but the return of this investment is usually in the form of groundbreaking information instead of profit. Today, we'll be discussing some of the strangest things spotted by NASA on Mars. But before we begin, take a moment to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so we can keep making amazing videos for you guys. A pyramid. We have numerous pyramids on our planet, therefore we cannot rule out the possibility of a pyramid or two existing on Mars. Some people think they can see a strange thing in a photo released by NASA, and they think that it's a pyramid. In 2015, some pictures were taken by the Mars Curiosity rover and uploaded to the NASA website in a raw image feed. The Paranormal Crucible, a YouTube channel, quickly identified a rock that seemed to be a pyramid. This rock had a perfect triangular shape and shadow that differed from the rest of the rocks on Mars. The channel reported that the photo revealed a unique artifact that could be equal to a small car in its size. NASA has not provided any information about these aspects. A rodent. NASA has claimed that rodents might be living on Mars. Keeping in view a rodent's agility, one might like to believe NASA's strange claim. The photo was taken by amateur astronomer Joe White on board the Curiosity rover. These pictures were uploaded online and a lot of people thought that the creature in those quite closely resembled a mouse. Joe himself also said this on his YouTube channel. He opined it is either a large mouse or another rodent sitting in the Gale crater on Mars. However, he also admitted it was probably just an optical illusion. In another picture taken by the same rover, we can see the scattering of rocks and something looking like a rodent lying down between the two rocks. Scott Waring from UFO Sighting Daily stated that it had light color and lower eyelids. It seems to resemble a squirrel camouflaged in stones and sand. A sarcophagus. What would you say if someone informs you that ancient Egyptians had come from Mars? Well, Scott Waring from UFO Sighting Daily has claimed so while talking to YouTube about a sarcophagus he'd seen in photos taken on Mars in 2007 by NASA's Opportunity rover. He informed that the discovery of a tomb wedged in some rocks is proof that ancient Egyptians had come to our planet from Mars. Allegedly, it had an eye, nose, chin, and extended forehead. His claims lack any scientific backing or evidence. Scott described the tomb carved into the side of the mountain and also that the ancient Egyptians moved from Mars to Egypt as both have similar appearance and weather. He also claimed to find alien technology, unfinished statues, and carvings of faces. NASA quickly pointed out that the image only shows rock layers and formations in Mars Victoria Crater on a cliff of Cape St. Vincent. Nigel Watson, an alien expert, said that Scott's claims were just imagination. A gorilla. In 2016, it was claimed that there was a giant ape, or more specifically a silverback gorilla, on Mars. Some pictures posted by NASA have been picked up by a YouTuber named Mr. Enigma, who posted a video on YouTube and described how one of the rocks looked like a gorilla. He also added gorilla-like colors to the rocks so that they stand out from the rest of the rocks. He said that on zooming, these look like bear-type creatures. It's next to what looks like a smaller version of it, like a cub. NASA says that these are just rocks and the image comes from the Sol 87 Spirit Rover mission from 2004. The rover can be seen leaving the Bonneville crater in the footage. A face. In the 1970s, people were super excited about the exploration of space when the Viking 1 mission sent pictures from Mars. The most stunning feature observed in the photos was a feature that looked like a face. It was a 1976 picture taken in the Sidonia region of Mars. It seemed like a human face or that of a monkey. Some people thought it was a sign of ancient civilization there. NASA also conceded that it looked like a face and described it as a giant rock formation, and the feature in its center resembled a human head. NASA experts explained that light and shadows caused it, and it was not an indicator of life on the planet. In 1998, the Mars Global Surveyor landed on the planet and took more detailed pictures of the face, which reinforced the idea that it was just an optical illusion. A lizard. In 2016, some interesting photos were taken by the Mars Curiosity rover. Among conspiracy theorists, one alien hunter was convinced that what he was seen in photos could be evidence of life on the planet. It was the rock which resembled a lizard. Joseph White from Art Alien TV stated that it could be photographic evidence of a horned reptile, 
and described it potentially as being less than an inch in height, with a half-inch beak, tiny horns, and a shell. He also explained that it might have been preserved when the atmosphere at Mars was destroyed. Finally, he concludes that it can just be an oddly shaped rock. A giant crab Over the years, the Curiosity rover has captured some incredible footage. You can see these pancake-like rocks. You can observe something tug on the rocky wall as seen in a photo taken in 2015. Could it be a facehugger crab as seen in the 1979 film named Alien? When people observed it for the first time, the internet users went crazy. Alien hunters insisted that alien life roamed on Mars. It seems that it has a hard shell and several legs spread across a small gap in the rocks. It also seemed to have a small head on top of its shell. Some people think it might be a patella of a Vulgate shell. But Seth Shashtak, research director at the Center for SETI, said it was perhaps a case of pareidolia, which makes us see faces and other routine items and other things. Bones In 2014, the Curiosity rover's mast cam captured a shot of the ground having a lot of rocks. In this photo, you can observe a feature that looks a lot like a femur bone from a human thigh partially covered in dirt. Alien experts believed it definitely was a human femur bone, and were convinced that humans have been on Mars previously. NASA's science team members explained that wind or water caused erosion in the rock in that peculiar shape. Coincidentally, it looked like a bone. Metal Objects In 2013, mast cam cameras installed on the Curiosity rover took footage of a shiny object. Elizabeth from Alive Universe Images observed the object in the database and realized it was a large object, maybe a foot tall. Scientists, including Mars Science Laboratory team member Ronald Slutton, explained that it was a natural formation and part of a harder and more resilient to erosion rock. A spoon The alien enthusiast spotted a spoon on Mars on two different occasions. Makes us wonder, are Martians cereal lovers too? These spoon-like objects were spotted in pictures taken on Mars in the recent past, including one in 2016. These spoons have long handles and a spoon-like shape on the end. One of these seems to be hovering based on the shadow seen below it, whereas the other is partially covered with dirt. Certain people attribute these spoons as evidence of life on the red planet. A meteorite The Curiosity rover took a photo of a glittering object on its mast cam. It might seem like a standard red dusty stuff, and when you look closely, there's also a curiously grey blob with rounded edges. Its size was similar to a golf ball, and after using laser pulses on it, it was ascertained to be an iron-nickel meteorite. It was assigned the informal name of Egg Rock. It is the first of its type iron-nickel rock to be found on Mars. With a laser-firing spectrometer, we can see the bright light of the rover's sophisticated technology reflecting on the meteor's surface. Morse code A shocking message has been sent to us by Sands on Mars. It seems to be fun. Well, there are some dark dunes on Mars which seem to be dots and dashes used in Morse code. These patterns have been seen in dune fields on Mars earlier as well. However, the peculiar topography of this field and the use of a high-resolution imaging camera has provided us with an opportunity to get a very clear look at it. As per Veronica Bray, a NASA planetary scientist, the dots and dashes are natural formations. The dashes are formed by biodirectional winds in an area with little sand available, whereas the dots, known as parachnoid dunes, are a bit difficult to explain. They seem to be formed when the formation of dashes is interrupted. However, geophysicists are not sure what interrupts them. A fish-shaped rock It's believed that Mars had an ocean which is bigger than the Arctic Ocean. A photo from the Curiosity rover shared by NASA attracted everyone. It showed a large fish in the bottom center of the picture. The object was figured to have a fish-shaped body with a finned tail and an upturned nose. A closer look reveals that it is a thin, jagged rock. It has been formed by wind, and its tail seems to be a well-positioned rock which is not attached to that fish-shaped rock. The possibility of a fish existing on Mars is not believable, as NASA has earlier clarified that the red planet never had sufficient oxygen to support complex organisms. A jelly donut A serious question arose when a rock seemed to appear on Mars, whereas there was none about 13 days before. The white rock with the red dot in the middle that looked like a jelly donut was observed in the footage. Scientists named it Pinnacle Island, and it was spotted by the Opportunity rover after it had completed its short drive. Steve Squires, the lead scientist of the Opportunity rover, stated that the rock must have appeared at a spot where it had not driven over, which was Murray Ridge along the Endeavour crater's walls. 
A closer look taken by the rover on the rock with its robotic arm-mounted instruments revealed quite a unique formation having high sulfur and magnesium. It had twice as much magnesium as anything else. They had two theories about it. First, it was a piece of debris from an impact crater nearby. A second was that the rover had kicked it up with some of its six wheels, which was a more likely scenario. Blueberries In 2004, Opportunity rover noticed something very interesting. Small iron-rit spheres in the vicinity of the landing site which looked like blueberries. Subsequently, the tiny spheres were identified as hematite, which are mineral compounds comprising oxygen and iron. Experts think that those blueberry-like stones on the Earth might be hydrohematite, which are iron oxide materials holding small traces of ancient water. It's believed that much of the surface of Mars originated when the surface was wetter and iron dioxide was precipitated from the water. Dust Devil The Opportunity rover managed to take this image of a dust devil in the background of one of its subjects. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter observed one in action in 2012 which raised to the height of 12 miles. These are very helpful on Mars as they clean the rover's solar panels. Scientists think that a dust devil's own shadow on Mars can help it grow. An avalanche There are images showing an avalanche on Mars as the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured photos with a high-resolution imaging science experiment camera. The thawing of the caps on the North Pole of Mars caused the melting of the ice breaking off and falling from height and creating a vast cloud of red-brown dust. During spring, the sun shines on North Polar layered deposits. The warm destabilizes the ice, and massive ice blocks tumble down a 1,640-foot cliff. The event occurs every year. Dragon Scales The up-close photos received from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and published online by NASA showed dragon scales having blue, pink, and purple tinges mixed in with green-yellow shading. But these are not dragon scales. Rather, it's just a rugged scale-like pattern which happens to be only on Mars. NASA has informed that the pattern comes from ancient interactions of rock and water on Mars, which was followed by erosion. The bedrock was altered into a clay-bearing rock, which is a magical and mythical site. Scientists have no definite reason for this process. A Humanoid During the later half of 2007, the Spirit rover captured photos from a low plateau that showed an entire heap of dirt and rocks. Some people could imagine and see a figure perching on a rock which truly looked like a human. It seemed to be sitting on its feet with its head slightly slanting downward and one arm reached out as if pointing to something. Astronomers said it was a rock and it only looks like a humanoid due to a phenomenon known as pareidolia. It is well known in psychology and causes people to look for routine things and items. NASA may not accept it, but conspiracy theorists are dead set on believing that life exists on Mars and sometimes we think they might be on to something. Some people think this image is from a NASA rover, and clearly it provides solid evidence that human civilizations existed on the planet. Some think there are remnants of structures pointing to alien life that inhabited the Red Planet in the past. Do you think it's possible? Tell us in the comments. Lava Coils In 2012, hundreds of large spirals were discovered on Mars. These could be evidence of a type of lava flow. Scientists believe that volcanoes rather than ice flows were responsible for shaping a strange area near the equator. The area was Athabasca Valleys, a region having valleys and flow channels covered in terrain plates. These structures apparently depict evidence of something editing the surface of Mars and fracturing it millions of years ago. Some scientists think that the plates were made of huge lava stones, whereas others opine these were icy rafts similar to Arctic pack ice. These are just some of the strange things witnessed on the surface of Mars. There probably are much more we have no idea about. What else could be out there? Tell us your theories in the comments. We'll be back soon with another amazing video. Until then, have a great time.